Hey folks, it's Martin. Does Bigfoot live in my backyard? I'm in the state forest again today. My partner Jeremy is not with me. He uh, is out climbing towers today. That's uh, one of the things he does for a living. I've shown you this structure before. It's in several of my videos. Now, these signs like this intrigue me, and I've been studying them for quite some time, and I've been studying on them. I've often called them language, that they mean something. Well, I believe that's true, and I believe I'm starting to figure it out. This particular sign is what I would call an Aleph Tav, which is Hebrew. It's two Hebrew characters. There are 22 characters in the Hebrew alphabet. And when you combine the Aleph and the Tav, that's what you get. And the Aleph and the Tav mean together the mark of the leader or the monument of the ruler. Now, there was only one language on this earth, and that was Hebrew, until God confused the tongues at the Tower of Babel which is where the term babble comes from. If you say someone is babbling, it means you don't understand them. And that comes from God confusing the tongues from one language, Hebrew, into 72 different languages. Well, that sign you're looking at is Hebrew, and that's an Aleph Tav, and that is the mark of the king of this clan of Sasquatch. Now, we have a, a video that Jeremy hasn't put up yet. He's still doing some cutting and editing that shows a similar sign to this, which is an Aleph Tav. On the other side of the 5,000 acres that's behind this one. This is a territory marker. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to scout over here. Over there, there's a rise over there, and there's a depression between that rise and the rise that's behind the Aleph Tav. And uh, since I'm out here by myself today, I'm not going to go far, but I'm going to go down in there and scout and uh, mark some things if I find them. And next week when Jeremy's with me again, we'll penetrate deep in there. And we will mark what I find today and anything that we find together next week with uh, GPS coordinates and we will put them up on our map. We're developing a map. Uh, of all the things I found out here and then all the things that Jeremy and I find together and we're marking their GPS coordinates so we can put them up on a Google map and see them from satellite view and uh, 
we've marked about a hundred things so far and uh, it's really starting to reveal a pattern okay well I'm gonna get on in there so I'll be back <laughs> 